last six games are divisional games. Do right. you guys feel like you control your own destiny going forward? Yeah, most definitely. These are crucial time of the year. Uh, people don't really remember what you do in September and October is all about the end of the year, November, December. We have to make sure that we're really focusing on improving, getting better, technique, fundamentals, details, and things like that so we can make this run to the playoffs. And on that note, Kevin, you do control your own destiny. Come to any of take that next step and actually do something with it. Yeah, for sure. And I think the first step is just like he mentioned is winning our division. I think if we can handle our business against our division, divisional teams, teams that we know pretty well because we see them all the time, but, you know, that's all talk, you know what I'm saying? We got to go out there and handle business because we haven't won our division in a long time. Normally, you guys are focusing on each other, one, maybe two good receivers. That's what we got a lot of them. Yeah, they really do. I mean, but we, we, I think we, we kind of know from as the year is going on, DJ Shark is that number one guy. I think he had like 15 targets in the last game, so that's somebody they're definitely going to try to get the ball to. Um, Conley as well, he's a great player. He's, he's a guy who definitely works in the middle of the field. Uh, we all know Westbrook, he's a, definitely a vertical guy, but he also runs a lot of underneath routes and things like that. But I think uh, one of the main keys for them, just based off of what the head coach said, they're going to try to get Fournette the ball, you know. I mean, I think kind of playing from behind a little bit may affect, you know, if they're going to run it past. But they're going to try to get him involved early, try to get their running game going because they're really good when they can play from ahead and control the ball, control the clock. Yeah, Marone was saying that he kind of regretted not giving Fournette the ball a lot. So, you know, along what you said, you expect to see a lot of him. So yeah, I think that, that says a lot. You know, when the head coach go out there and say we need to run the ball more, more than likely he's going to go in the team and say we need to run the football to beat the Titans. So that's something we're going to have to do first and foremost, which is stop 27. And not only in the run game, but when they swing the ball out to him, they run a lot of screens to him as well. So he's definitely going to be the number one guy that we have to, to stop because I think the offense kind of runs through him. I saw Minshew in the first game. You, you see Foles this week. How, how did they differ? Uh, I think, I think, I mean, Foles is obviously a Super Bowl winner. He's a more veteran guy. Uh, I think when I watched the last game, uh, Foles threw the ball over 40-something times. There's something you didn't really see from Minshew like that. So he's a guy that they definitely trusted, that he can, you know, throw the ball around the field. He has a real good deep ball that really kind of arcs and really puts a lot of air under there. So the way I look at that is like, you know, I may have an opportunity to be able to go make a play in the post. I'm going to be able to try to watch some film and see how I can find ways to get to the ball. But uh, yeah, he's a more veteran guy. He's a Super Bowl winner. I think he's, he's good in pressure situations. So, you know, we're definitely going to have to be aware of that for sure. Uh, I mean, I think he's just had a lot more opportunities. I think they're giving him the ball a lot more. He's running pretty much every single route in the route tree. Uh, he's just been making plays. I mean, he's a vertical threat guy. They had just thrown one on ones on the outside, and he's been coming down with the ball. So I, mean, I think he's a real good receiver, real aggressive receiver as far as going up and attacking the ball. So we're definitely going to have to make plays on the outsides, on, on vertical routes, which is something that they was able to beat on beat us with last time we played them earlier in the year. It seemed like a year ago since you first played these guys. It was yeah. so early in the season on a Thursday night. You know, you're right. Like you said, you, you, you kind of so, so much focused on the stuff that's happening right now. You, like you said, I had to kind of watch the game again and uh, kind of see the stuff that they beat us on. But I think we did a great job last time actually stopping for net. You know, he did have the one big run at the end of the game, but we did a great job stopping the run. So we can use that same blueprint by stopping the run. And like you said, kind of making those two or three players on the outsides on the deep balls, I think we have a great opportunity holding these guys a points and our, our offense to score some points this game. I'm not sure the defense has cut up, showed it all in this regard, but when you watched it again, did it make you mad how that game played out? Yeah, I mean, it definitely did because I think, you know, we kind of talk about it all the time, but they, they're real good when they can play from ahead because they have a great pass rush. They was able to get nine sacks on us, um, and they have a good running game. So whenever they can get up ahead, they can run the ball, and they can go on defense and rush the passer. So we have to make sure that we're not – we don't get down 14 nothing, pretty much. We have to make sure that you know we're capitalizing on all phases of the game, special teams, offense, and defense. Is there a little venom in this series between uh, Jags and, and Titans, maybe more so than most? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we really like each other that much. You know, I think it's, uh, every time we play these guys, we know it's going to be a dog fight. And uh, they play great defense. They try to play great defense, be tough, tough and hard nosed. That's what we try to do. We try to play with effort and finish. So I think. Whenever you get two teams that wants to play like that, play that kind of brand of football, it's going to be a tough matchup. So I think that's one thing that we're going to have to – that's our calling card, playing real hard, playing fast. And I feel like if we can do that, man, we can, we can outmatch these guys.